Good morning and good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jean-Daniel Ecuyer. I am the new product manager of Mark. I'm pleased today to introduce you some new functionalities available in the new release, the release 2024.1. I would like to thank uh, R&D for all the great jobs that they have provided. I would like also to thank the previous product manager, Mansour, for his great job. I would like to start with a short introduction of uh, Mark and Mentat. So for people who don't know, Mark is an uh, FEA solver uh, dedicated for advanced linear simulation solution, developed for more than 50 years already, uh, with plenty of uh, uh, capabilities such as solutions to do multi-physics analysis, a comprehensive nonlinear material model library, unique remeshing capabilities, robust contact modeling, uh, robust and, and, and comprehensive failure and damage capabilities. Mentat is the user interface dedicated to Mark. Our value proposition is to provide you a comprehensive, robust and proven simulation uh, solution for complex engineering challenges dealing with nonlinear structural behavior. So what is new for this 2024.1 release? Actually, six uh, major uh, projects have been done. First of all, uh, about the uh, units supports for pre-processing. Second would be around temperature dependent super elements. Then we'll talk about a new nonlinear advanced friction model. Then we'll talk about uh, improvements for previous analysis states. We'll talk also about enhancements associated with temperature dependencies for rubber or elastomers. And finally, uh, enhancement around contact robustness and especially the hybrid formulation. So the first improvement I would like to highlight for Mark 2024.1 is the full unit support for pre-processing. The user interface of Mark, Mentat, was already capable of indicating dimensions for any user-specified simulation parameter value. In this release, however, Mentat includes unit settings for every parameter. Users can now define their preferred unit system when they create a new model and they can change the defined unit system to a new one at any time. Updating the unit system automatically changes the different parameters value with an option to keep the values as they are eventually. Here at the right hand side, you have an example of a dialog box dedicated to material properties where we can clearly identify the different units associated with the simulation values that needs to be defined. In the other picture, you can see the two options when you will change the unit system in order to say if you want to see values of the parameters to be changed or not. Please note also that the mark input file will support the system units, meaning that it will be clearly, clearly identified in the input file, so that when you will import a mark input file into Mentat, automatically the model unit system will be defined accordingly. The second new feature I would like to highlight is temperature dependent super elements. Initiated by the Compass Consortium, this new project triggered the enhancement to the existing super element capabilities by adding temperature dependency to their structural behavior through the machine learning capabilities of Odyssey. With this new capability, engineers will be able to create a functional mock-up unit, FMU, with the temperature dependent super elements, what we could call a reduced order model or a ROM with high fidelity for an entire temperature range. With this new capability, the users will be able to complete thermomechanical structural integrity assessment, leveraging those ROMs, and the, those ROMs will be created according to the FMI 3.0 standards. Any company dealing with temperature-dependent subassemblies could be interested by this new functionality, and we have identified two main industries where uh, this capability makes sense, the high tech industry and the semiconductor industry. So here you have an example for the semiconductor industry. The electronic package, as well as the PCB components, consist of multiple temperature dependent materials. For example, Young Modulus could depend on temperature or the coefficient of thermal expansion. 
This thermal RAM capability offers a single model to accurately represent the temperature dependent structural properties of each PCB components in a global electronic package assembly simulation. Any relevant part of the model can, can be hidden if the model needs to be shared with a third party, as usual when dealing with super elements. The third topic I would like to discuss with you is about a new model that has been introduced for nonlinear friction. With this new capability, engineers will be able to model more complex nonlinear friction behaviors with a smooth transition between the sticking and the sleeping states. As you can see in the graph below, please see the curves in orange and red. Typical applications are bold self-loosening analyses, brake pads analyses, forming process simulations, seal design, or bearing analyses. The next new announcement I would like to discuss with you is about previous analysis state. The legacy pre-state option was designed to read data from a marked results file and use that as the initial conditions for a new mark analysis. This capability has been enhanced in this release. Three major improvements have been done. It is now possible to use results from a Simifact ARC file, Simifact forming, Simifact welding. The new model can use a different mesh than the mesh in the previous analysis. And the contact glued state from an analysis using contact bonding can be transferred. Let's look at one example. So this is a color forming process. First of all, we, we use Simifact product, Simifact forming, to simulate the forming process. And then we will reuse those results in Mark to be able to continue the analysis. We will simulate a cutting effort to uh, be able to extract uh, dog bone shaped test specimens in order after all, afterward to do some uh, specific uh, tension, bending, torsion tests, virtual tests uh, on those specimens. The next announcement I would like to discuss with you is about temperature dependencies for elastomers or rubbers. A specific type of temperature dependent behavior known as thermorheologically simple or TRS behavior is often observed in rubbers or other elastomers. This type of behavior was already available in MARC, but only for viscoelasticity models based on the Prony series. In previous versions, the experimental data fitting capabilities for the parallelological framework, PRF models, did not support temperature dependency. With this new release, you will be able also to define a TRS behavior for the Bergstrom boys and the PRF models. You will be able to include TRS behavior in the viscoelastic material during uh, experimental data fitting, leveraging the PRF models. The last improvement I would like to highlight in this video is around contact. The hybrid contact option for the no to segment method has been introduced and enhanced over the last few versions of MARC. Hybrid contact is useful for cases where it is difficult to define the optimal contact settings to avoid nodes penetrating a meshed deformable contact body. Some improvements have been made for this release. Contact detection is improved to reduce the risk of finding an incorrect contact segment. The running time is improved in many situations, and a new option in Mentat allows you to override any single-sided contact settings in contact tables and make the change to hybrid contact for the existing models easier. I hope this presentation will be useful for you. If you want to have more information about the new functionalities in Mark 2024.1, please have a look at our Nexus dedicated web page. You can also connect to our SIM companion on the dedicated Mark web page. Thank you, and I wish you great successes with Mark 2024.1.